Well, suppose you found a bad filter capacitor. Naturally, you're going to want to replace it as soon as possible. Remember, downtime kills. And if you have a game with a bad filter capacitor, you better get it replaced right away or your customer is going to be down the street playing a competitor's game. Well, like every other component that we've looked at so far, capacitors have certain specifications. So let's take a look at those capacitor specifications and see what they're all about. The first rating of a capacitor is its capacitance. The capacitance is simply a measurement of the amount of charge the capacitor can store. We measure capacitance in microfarads. The more microfarads a capacitor has, the more of a charge the capacitor will store. Typically, we see capacitors that are 20,000, 10,000, 4,700, or 1,000 microfarads. There are other ratings as well, and we'll see plenty of different types of ratings of filter capacitors as we look at different power supplies in different games. We use the Greek letter mu to denote the metric prefix micro, or one one millionth. But because the Greek letter mu looks a lot like our English letter u, you will often see capacitor abbreviations as mu f, u f, m f d, or just plain MF. All of these ratings indicate microfarads, and the ratings will be printed on the capacitor itself and in the power supply schematic. The second rating of a capacitor is its voltage rating. The voltage rating of a capacitor is the maximum amount of voltage that the capacitor can stand across itself and still operate properly. For instance, if I have a 16 volt capacitor, I can use it in any circuit up to 16 volts, but I cannot exceed the 16 volt maximum. The voltage rating of a capacitor is not the amount of voltage the capacitor is putting out. The capacitor will only put out the same amount of voltage you put into it. The voltage rating of a capacitor is usually found on the capacitor itself or on the schematic diagram. This Williams power supply has two typical filter capacitors. This one's 18,000 microfarads, 20 volts, and this one is 4,700 microfarads, 35 volts. Well, when you go to a local electronics store to get a replacement capacitor, chances are not overwhelmingly good that you'll get an exact replacement. But you can get a capacitor that'll do the job for you. The general rule of thumb regarding power supply filter capacitors is that you can always go up in either capacitance or voltage or even both. If you use a capacitor that has more capacitance than the one that you took out of the game, the power supply will just work that much better. If you have a capacitor with a higher voltage rating, the capacitor has better protection against high voltage failures. If, for example, you found a 4,700 microfarad 16 volt capacitor to be defective, and all you had was a 10,000 microfarad 25 volt capacitor in your toolbox, you could feel free to use the 10,000 microfarad capacitor as a replacement part for the defective 4,700 microfarad capacitor. Remember, we can always go up in voltage or capacitance, and in this case, we've gone up in both. Well, suppose you can't find a capacitor with a high enough capacitance rating. There's still a way you can get your game working for the weekend. Just get two capacitors and connect them in what's known as a parallel circuit. When you connect capacitors in parallel, their capacitance is added together. For instance, say I had an 8,000 microfarad 16 volt capacitor fail. But I go to the store and all I can find is 4,700 microfarads at 16 volts. The voltage is okay, but the capacitance isn't anywhere near 8,000 microfarads. Well, if I get two of the 4,700 microfarad capacitors and connect the two in parallel, their capacitances will be added together. Two times 4,700 is 9,400, so we're well above the 8,000 microfarad limit there. When you connect capacitors in parallel, their voltage rating is unaffected. So what we end up with is one 9400 microfarad 16 volt capacitor. And of course, we can easily use that to replace the 8000 microfarad capacitor. It's easy to connect capacitors in parallel. Simply connect the two positive leads to each other and do the same with the two negative leads. 